So this is the the tire changer electrical system. So this is uh, the outside power, and this is the power cord. From the uh, outside power, this power cord, and to the uh, the machine switch over here. And then the motor, this is the motor also connected to the switch. So this is the the power outside power cord. And this is on the other side is the motor cable. Okay, now let's see how it works. Okay, so okay, now this is a clockwise rotation. One some time. Oh, oh, now this is anti-clockwise rotation. So this uh, pedal, they control the switch, press down or press up, and the motor will have clockwise rotation or anti-clockwise rotation. And we will introduce how to test the motor itself. So when there is a tech, when there is an electrical problems, you want to know, you, you doesn't know if it is coming from the motor or from the switch, then you need to do some troubleshooting. So today we will introduce how to test the motor itself. Test the, the motor itself so we know if this is a motor problem or is a switch problem. So first what we will do is we disconnect the motor from the switch. Okay. Okay. So the motor connected connect to switch. Uh, number two terminal. And number six terminal. And uh, this black one number eight terminal and uh, you can see the metal bridge number six and number ten has a bridge and a metal bridge and the on the bottom number four number eight and number twelve they also have a bridge this is uh how the motor is uh, connected to the switch okay let's remove the the cable Okay, now the motor is uh, fully disconnected from the switch. And now I will connect the motor to the outside power and we will test the motor. Okay, take a look at this uh, small device. It's, we use this uh, simple tool for testing. So, uh, three phase, one phase, the other phase, and the third phase. And this is for the ground wire. Well, you can always find something similar, or you can connect the power, the wire to the circuit breaker or some three pro, three phase plug. This is ground, ground wire. Okay. Okay, and uh, my colleague will switch on the uh, the power. So let's see the motor. Okay, now the motor is running all right. Now it has the uh, anti-clockwise rotation. Okay, and next I will uh, change the position of any two wires. Swap, swap the position of two wires. And then we will have the other direction. Okay, now I already swapped the two wires and uh, let's see the testing results. Okay, now the motor have clockwise rotation, so the motor have both 
anti-clockwise and uh, clockwise rotation, which means uh, this motor is working all right. It is working normal. So we can say that this motor is in good condition. So maybe the problem is coming from the switch. So this is the, the troubleshooting of to telling which part is faulty, switch or the motor. Thanks for watching.